All right, here we go with another random pack run. And uh, the video is a little bit longer because there will be more bonus footage at the end. I always end up with too much footage. So here I get the uh, what used to be one of the best starts with a double duck plus ant. Actually, here we're going to lose to Iguana Seahorse on turn one. Um, maybe we could have won that with the correct ant hit. I'm not sure. but uh, And then another ant and another duck. So we're kind of all set. But then for some reason here, I decide to freeze a fourth duck. And usually when that happens, that means I'm going to go for the ultimate greed and try and get multiple level ups on turn five instead of turn three. Something that used to be done all the time and isn't really that common anymore. So we're not going to level the duck yet. And then I think I'm going to bring in the kangaroo just to uh, try and protect my, my lives because I did get one back on turn three. I did mention in the previous video about buying Cupcake how I never take it unless I'm playing a random pack. Because usually in the random packs I'm trying to extend the game to find something decent later on. Uh, whereas there are a lot of um, you know, regular custom runs where you're just, uh, there are lots of strong early game units that you probably want, want to keep for the whole game. So we've now got four uh, partial levels. Unfortunately, I don't find any more other than the, the fifth duck. But that's not necessarily a bad thing because we could save the levels even later depending on the outcome of the battle, but of course we lose. It's not really a surprise. So there is another duck though, so we'll go for two levels here. And we get double manatee, double squirrel. So what would you choose here? Would you go two squirrels or two manatees? Well, uh, as a manatee enthusiast, I, <laughs> I, it's not really much of a decision for me. I suppose squirrel is also quite, um, you know, it really depends on what food is in the pack. And rice, pineapple, I don't really feel like discounting either of them honey and cherry as well. So we do also find an ant so we can get another level. Maybe I'll save that for turn uh, seven. But with the ducks, the selling two ducks meant that the manatees got uh, extra health. Um, and so did the meerkat. And yeah, the meerkat is probably the unusual take and I just took it because, purely because it's one of those pets I never use. And um, you know, we got extra health onto it because of the duck. Lobster is also quite tempting because if we uh, manage to get the kangaroo level, we can bring in uh, the higher tier pet and get a little boost. Uh, not really seeing anything. We will take garlic on one of the manatees to protect it. And then we do get the kangaroo level. So the other, ma the other manatee will die next turn, but we can just combine it. Four squad with chameleon. And... Uh, not that common to see people take the toilet paper, even though it is very, very good. Um, and yeah, we're going to lose here. Despite them having the four squad, but that's not really surprising. So we take the level and we get Crane, which is pretty much the jackpot if you're running the manatee. So I should just be selling Ant here by Lobster, bring in Crane. And... Now the manatee is going to get melon every second turn. And am I going to take the slug here? Yeah, I guess that works well with the kangaroo. Kangaroo is another unit that I pretty much never take, even in pack one. Um, so there are times when it takes a little bit of thought to remember these uh, rather obvious synergies. But meerkat now giving attack to the manatee, which has melon, is quite nice and uh, it is going to result in us uh, winning here. Or actually, maybe we had enough attack there, I'm not sure. The crane did boost the manatee as well, and another manatee. Eagle seems like a, a, a great idea. In, in general, eagle is just incredibly strong, and double meerkat, so I think meerkat is here to stay. And uh, I'm not sure why I'm... Okay, right. The rice is simply to make sure that the crane uh, scales the manatee with the attack and then regenerates the melon. So we do give up some health, but uh, I don't think it's necessarily that big a deal. Of course, it would be very nice if there was uh, pita bread in the pack, but we've a few turns to wait before we find that out. 
I can just feed the manatee as well. And of course, you do obviously have the option of just leaving the melon and, and losing it. Uh, yeah, so we're going to feed the manatee here, but also just leave the melon in place. There's no pill, I don't think, so mammoth, not really worth it. And since we are buffing the meerkat, we might as well get lemon on it so that it can uh, tank a bit of damage. Elephant Blowfish is... Uh, I don't know if Elephant Blowfish is my least favourite opposing team anymore. I mean, there are so many horrific teams in customs. But um, it feels like, yeah, it's one of the most frustrating roadblocks to run up against in this pack. Okay, we're going to take the lemon on the manatee for one turn uh, because it's going to get overwritten by the uh, melon from the crane and then I'll freeze the lemon again. Of course, you only take one damage per turn with uh, with manatee lemon, so that means you can uh, continue buffing quite, uh, quite a few turns in a row. Skunk, baboon, clownfish, yeah. Actually, we're going to win anyway. I think that team really should have had some equipment on them. And pita bread is in the pack and we get it in the one empty slot, which is extremely fortunate. So we're just going to carry on uh, buffing the manatee and it's going to get a, a big stat injection this turn with the plus 15. I guess it's only plus 10 with the manatee, but it's still um, way better than uh, lemon. And lionfish out of the eagle. Kind of uh, grubby, but there's not really anything we can do about it when it's random like that. And I'm certainly not going to sell the eagle just because it spawned a lionfish. And another pita bread. So the uh, the shop gods are really smiling on the uh, the food RNG at the moment. Uh, yeah, probably level 3 meerkat, not worth it. And we maybe don't really have time for it anyway. I'm not sure if I've done uh, the achievement on that already. We end up finding another pita bread as well. So... The manatee has gone from, I think it was on five health for a while there, like on the brink of death, to actually being the biggest unit on the team. And uh, yeah, this works out really nicely. And uh, again, the manatee gets the final kill. So another pita. It's also it's kind of strange to have your biggest unit in fourth position, but I guess it just works out that way because of meerkat, you know, um, and the fact that I committed to snake, I suppose I could sell a snake. It's only on base stats with the lemon, but I think it's just a generally a very strong unit. And although we do know that, um, you know, octopus and lionfish are in this pack, I'd rather just keep it with because it's working with the eagle. Summon team, but uh, the snake should do a bit of damage there and we get another octopus. They've also got a lot of uh, lemons on board. And hopefully the, the meerkat lemon is going to do some work here. We do lose the melon as a result of the snake snipe. But the Spinosaurus can't buff itself. And so we're going to win as a result of the popcorn. I love it when that happens, when you win as a result of like the last three gold that you spent in the previous turn. I think it was the last three gold I spent. But again, the manatee is almost at 50 health now. So it's gone from losing five a turn to gaining 10 a turn. And another team with no equipment. Um, I've said that so many times recently where it's hard to understand why these teams are like this, especially if you don't have Husky. But I mean, I'll take it. Random pack win with Meerkat as the, uh, I, I think I've probably put M Meerkat MVP as the title of this uh, uh, video, but to be honest, it was probably the Manatee, so. Uh, here's another one. I'm only showing the very beginning here because um, uh, that'll prove that it's a random run. So yeah, it's the half suspects as the team name. So when I skip ahead in a second, uh, you'll see that it's still the same run. And uh, we're going to skip now. So turn nine, and I've got a few uh, of the typical very strong units that you'd expect. Eagle, Skunk, and I found an alpaca, which means I can level to my beluga. Uh, I'm commentating this with a quite small resolution, so I didn't see what was inside the beluga there, but I guess we'll find out in the next battle. And uh, we've got the grizzly. I kind of want to wait till next turn to get the level up, which is why I'm pausing here. Maybe I should have just bought the whale there and had the whale swallow the alpaca. 
The problem with whale a lot of the time in customs is because there are so many snipes, the whale can then just swallow one of your other units instead of what you want it to swallow. We get Sabretooth from the Eagle, which is another great spawn. And uh, yeah, the Grizzly does get to shoot as a result. And we're not going to get to see what's inside the Beluga yet. Maybe there's nothing inside it. I'm sure there was something. Okay, there's nothing inside it, yeah. Um, but yeah, I'm thinking about Wolf here. So we're going to buy the Carrot for a little bit of scaling every turn. I can just get rid of the Alpaca now, really, because there's no space left. I'm not going to sell Skunk or Eagle. And uh, I'm not sure why I'm freezing the Wolf there. Maybe I wanted to buy other food onto the beluga and i wanted to replace the existing wolf but i'm taking sea lion here now sea lion on turn 10 like the base that sea lion level one it's not doing a huge amount but the the value is all really relative to you know what's in the pack already uh, unfortunately here we get matched the the classic full scaling team plus uh, hippo and uh, there's nothing we can do about it it's just going to keep regenerating health. And uh, the other day there was another... I, I see them all the time, people posting Nerf Hippo in the uh, official Discord. So uh, not that I agree with that, but it is just amusing. So we get a level 2 on the sea line, and I do briefly consider both Sabretooth, uh, I think, to put inside the Beluga and the Bird of Paradise there. Maybe I should have just frozen the carrot to, to have a little bit extra scaling. Um, but we're just going to stick with the sea line for now. And uh, did the salt matter there? I didn't notice. But this time we are going to get the spawn from the wolf. And that works very well with the grizzly. No surprise, three pets from the same pack work well together. So Octo's there as well. I could replace the wolf, but I think I would just rather um, concentrate on the, uh, the grizzly bear synergy. So we do have Eagle and Grizzly, and I think I'm going to go for the Grizzly first. I guess in theory I could sell the level 1 Eagle uh, if there was something better that came along. And um, Chicken Team. Uh, not sure if we're going to have enough to get through Monkey and T-Rex, but yeah, Grizzly's not going to get to shoot more than once, although it's going to be very close. I suppose I could put the sea line to the front now, but I think I would rather just keep getting health and hope that uh, that avoids me losing to, you know, a, a team that maybe has a, a single links or something like that. And um, this is kind of funny, they've got the, the triple peanut, but I think um, the wolf, yeah, is going to get to shoot, is going to trigger the grizzly shot rather. And with the pineapple, we're doing quite a lot of damage. So I'm giving the skunk chili for no apparent reason. I guess just because it's a random pack, we we don't have very many options. I can't really buy the hot dog, unfortunately. That is one of the downsides with Beluga. You know, you can kind of price yourself out of particular food, especially in random packs like this. And here's a quite a large um, scaling team as well. Although well, they haven't quite managed to get the level two um, uh, elephant seal. And I think that was pretty much the best case scenario for the snipes on the grizzly there. And it's uh, another win. So I was a little bit surprised about that one. But then here's another one. And I mentioned this in the last random pack video. I've been trying to do, if I get cone snail plus bluebird or um, pill bug plus bluebird, I just try and take them as far as possible. So here is turn 11, one heart, three trophies for the, the tandem cone snail, tandem bluebird. And it's a fair fight against another four squad. Um, but unfortunately, the uh, the tier ones just don't have enough gas in the tank. Very, very close game, though. 